بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين اما بعد بكنتين ان دي منظومه of the Imam Muhammad ibn Ahmad al-Safarini rahimahullah ta'ala which is known as the Aqeelatul Safariniya Aqeelatul Safariniya and we have been reading from the explanation of Shaykh Muhammad ibn Salih al-Uthaymin rahimahullah ta'ala and when we left off last night is from the Shaykh rahimahullah explaining how to respond to the Shubuhat of the Ashairah concerning the issue of the Sifat of Allah Ta'ala and their affirming for Allah Ta'ala as Sifat al Sabah, the seven Sifat of Allah Ta'ala that we mentioned that we have been discussing, which is Al Hayat, Wal Kalam, Wal Sam, Wal Basar, Wal Ilm, Wal Irada, Wal Qudra. And he mentioned three of the ways in which this Shubha. And it can be responded to. And then he went on to mention that even if, for the sake of argument, the issue of aql wanted to be used, the issue of al aql wanted to be used for the sake of argument, then how will we respond to that? So, for the sake of argument, we can affirm with our aql the same thing that you negate with your aql, meaning you can, we can affirm with our minds and our intellects and that which we see in front of us is that which you negate and you try to use as a proof for your negation of that which you utilize of your own aql. And he said examples of that is هذه النعم just to repeat التي نشاهدها وهذه النقم التي تندفع عنا ما وجود أسبابها تدل على الرحمة He's given one example he said that these various favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these blessings of Allah ta'ala that we have, that we witness, that we experience, that we know of, that we can see, as well as these various trials and tribulations and things that are difficulties, things that are harmful, that are kept away from us, that are kept away from us. Although the existence of these means, the existence of these means and all of those things are there. This is an indication and a proof of the Rahmah of Allah Ta'ala. Of the Rahmah of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And then he went on and he says that Dilala to Hadhi al Ashya, and he mentioning the effects of the Rahmah of Allah in the Nuzul al Matar and the Nabat al Aurd and the An Naum wa Raha wa Ilm wa Rizq. In all of these particular things, they are signs and they are proofs of the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. He says, وَدِلَالَةُ هَذِهِ الْأَشْيَاءَ عَلَى الرَّحْمَةَ عَقْلًا أَوْ ضَحْ وَأَبْيًا مِنْ دِلَالَةِ التَّخْسِيسِ عَلَى الْإِرَادَةِ And then he went back on to mention and show how clear these particular issues are and these things that we point to that are proof for the mercy of Allah عَقْلًا by way of one's own intelligence. That which is by way of one's own intelligence can prove this. This is that which is more clear, that which sheds more light on this affair, more than even a taqsis concerning the irada of Allah Azawajal. Concerning the taqsis of the irada of Allah Azawajal. What do you mean by taqsis of the irada of Allah for those who were not here? Meaning, when we understand and use the taqsis, the way that Allah Ta'ala has specified, and the way that Allah Ta'ala has created His creation, and he has made one from the human being male, the other from the human being female. This is taqsis. Right? This is from the irada of Allah Ta'ala. He's intended for this child to come out, boy. This one to be girl. This one to grow up male. And this one to become female. طيب? This is taqsis. This is something that is not as easily affirmed or grasped or utilized by way of the aql or the intelligence except by those who do what? Those who have read into the books of the ulama, and this has been explained to them. But knowing the mercy of Allah based upon those natural things that you see around you, of blessings, of benefit, of those things that you have, of that which is positive, and those things that are negative, that are kept away from you, you can see the mercy of Allah. 
the shaykh he says when naqul is ithabatu ta'iyina wa ta'aliyatu manazilihim wa ta'aliyati manazilihim dalilun ala rida anhum and then he goes on to mention another sifa of Allah Ta'ala and that is the sifa of al-rida the pleasure of Allah and this is also a sifa that they negate they negate the pleasure of Allah Azawajal they say that this is a sifa that belongs to the creation we cannot give this description to Allah but the shaykh he says aqlan if you want to play on the, you want to play on this issue of aql, then we will affirm this by our aql that which you use as evidence your aql to negate. He says, "Ithabatu ta'iin," the reward that Allah Taala gives to those who are obedient. The reward that Allah Taala gives to those who are obedient, wa ta'aliyati manazilihim, and raising their ranks. What is this? Dalilun ala rida and whom the proof that Allah Ta'ala is pleased with them. The proof that Allah Ta'ala has rida and whom. And Allah Ta'ala has said it clear enough. Radi Allahu and whom. That Allah Ta'ala is pleased with them. And in this action here, that Allah Ta'ala with this verb, that He is pleased with them, then the sifa al rida is something that is attributed to Allah Ta'ala. And He is described with this particular sifa. He goes and he says, لِأَنَّهُ لَا كَرِهَهُمْ لَأَقَبَهُمْ وَانْتِقَامُهُ تَعَالَ مِنَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ يَدُولُ عَلَى الْقَدْرِ He says, because if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was displeased with them, what would happen? He would punish them. He would punish them. And انْتِقَامُهُ تَعَالَ مِنَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ يَدُولُ عَلَى الْقَدْرِ and the fact that Allah wa ta'ala, He takes retribution and He exacts punishment out to the people who are mujrimun, the people who are mujrimin is a sign and a proof, aqlan, even before we get a verse that says that's aqlan of the ghadab of Allah, of the ghadab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, although we have verses, wa ghadib Allahu alayhim wa la'anahum, and the anger of Allah ta'ala is upon them and He has cursed them. So these are the people who will be upon or have the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon them. And then the shaykh he goes on, he mentions a verse, And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Zukhruf he says, We took retribution from them. فالمهم أن ما ذكروا أن الأقل لا يدل عليه فإنه يمكننا أن نثبته أن نثبته نحن بدلالة بدلالة الأقل. He says that which is important though is that that which they mention that the intellect cannot use because of this the intellect cannot prove this. He says that it is possible for us to affirm these things. By way of the evidence of the intellect. By way of the evidences of the intellect. Therefore, we respond to them with these three particular responses. And Ithbatu al Ashaira li hadi sifati saba, laysa ka Ithbati ahlu sunnati laha. And know this, brothers, even though that as Safarini, he mentioned these particular sifat here. And as the Shaykh he mentioned, he mentioned them for a reason because this is something that we have ittifaq bainana wa bain al-ashairah between us and between the ashairah we both agree that Allah Ta'ala possesses al-hayat, al-kalam, al-sam, wal-basar, wal-ilm, wal-irada, wal-qudra these seven but he says ithbatu al-ashairah li hadhi sifati sab'a laysa ka ithbati ahlu sunnah that the affirmation of the Asha'ira for these seven sifat is not like the way that Ahlu Sunnah laysa ka ithbati Ahlu Sunnati laha. It is not the same way that Ahlu Sunnah affirm these sifat. You understand? Not the same way. Why is it not the same way? Anybody remember? Anybody remember that were here? That was here? Why is it not the same way? What is, the, what is the reasoning behind the Asha'ira affirming these seven? Because um, only affirms the seven? 
of affirming these seven? What was the reason behind that? You can just give me one reason. What was the reason, of course, aqlan, they say aqlan, these can be affirmed. If it's not affirmed by the aqlan, they can be affirmed by the... As we talked about the other day? No, that's, 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 that's also an answer to what we've been talking about. Jazakallah khayy. Barakallah fi. He was, he was on point with that, huh? Yeah, it can also be affirmed by legislative. Yes, but they say, using these seven, that they have a connection, so to speak. All right? These seven, they have a connection. All right? Meaning that the one who has hayat, he has what? Sam and basr. On and on and on. The one who has, the one who is a creator, or he has, he has al-hayat, he has what? He has qudra. Right? He has ability. He has irada. Based upon these particular descriptions, they connect all of them together. Aqlan to affirm them for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You understand? We say it's Ahlu Sunnah. It doesn't matter whether it's Aqlan. If we can affirm these, we say Shar'an, they are affirmed. And then if they can be affirmed Aqlan, Alhamdulillah. But if not, we base it upon the basic Qa'idah. And what is that Qa'idah? Everyone should know. That is the ayah in Quran, Allah Ta'ala, He says about Himself, Yusuf, Laysa kemithli he shay. This is the decisive argument that cuts off the doors of all of this dispute concerning the descriptions of Allah Ta'ala. From the mumathila, right? From those who try to resemble Allah Ta'ala to His creation, resemble the creation to Allah. From the mu'attila, from those who try to negate every attribute of Allah Ta'ala. From those who try to make takyif and those who try to say how this is done. From those who make tahrif and try to distort the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what he has described himself with, this verse right here, or even making tashbih, right? This verse right here is the decisive verse that is the sword, right? That cuts off the head of this falsehood. And that is the verse Allah ta'ala says very clearly about himself. You see, the other verses can be mutashabi. They cannot be clear to some, but this verse is very clear. There is not a, no, nothing can be Misunderstood about this. Laysa kemithli he shay'un. Do we need any more explanation to that? There is nothing like Allah. Nothing. Right? This here, Laysa kemithli, laysa kemithli he shay'un and nafi. Right? Or nakira fi siyakin nafi. Allah Ta'ala, He didn't say Laysa kemithli he ashay. He said Laysa kemithli he shay'un. Indefinite. Being preceded by a negation. This means that every single thing, everything without exception, or rather nothing, resembles Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is not one thing. You see, now we say, okay, well, this maybe resembles Allah ta'ala. No, not one thing. This naqira, fi siyaqin nafi, right? You bring that which is indefinite, preceded by a negation, this is going to negate everything. Just like la ilaha Allah. La ilaha naqira. Right? Preceded by what? A negation. This negates anything of being classified or qualified or described with the description of al ilahiyya Nothing has a description of ilahiyya besides Allah. So that verse, Laysa Kimithi Hishay, and then guess what it does? Because we can conclude with this tonight. This verse is known is that it does a concept known as what? It makes something called a tanzih. Alright? It makes something known as tanzih. And this is also a nafi and an ithbat. It removes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, frees Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, purifies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from being anywhere close or near to his creation whatsoever in any way. In any way. Alright? So this is the first thing that it does. Let's clean it up. Let's clean the belief system up. Laysa kemithli hi shay'un. This is cleaning the belief system up. If there is some type of distortion there, let's fix it first. If there is some type of corruption there, let's fix it first. If it needs to be trained, let's train it first. Laysa kemithli hi shay'un. Let's put this to the side and negate this. Negate anything resembling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is elementary. Alright? Very easy to be understood. And now, now let's do this once we cleaned it up. 
Now let me affirm for myself that which I intend to affirm for myself. Laysa kemithlihi shay'un wa huwa sayyun basir. That he is, and while he is, and he is, Samiun Basirun. He is one who is all hearing and one who is all seeing. So now by saying there's nothing like him when he affirms himself to be Sami and Basir, and he affirms as Sim and Basir for himself, he's already set the stage for you to put in your mind that I cannot. Imagine and I cannot make anything resemble this sum and this basar of Allah. Because already the stage, the stage has been set for you to make sure that you kick out of your mind any resemblance of the sum and the basar of Allah to anything that you know of, of that which is created. And we always use the example. Just because something carries the same description, the same title does not mean that it's the same in the way that its essence is. And it's that that's not the same. Right? We always say, what? The hand of the clock is not like the hand of the human being. Although both of them has been described as being, or utilized the term, yet. Right? Same thing. Is the head of the lettuce like the head of my, like my head? What do we say? Head of lettuce. When you think about it, you think about what it is. It's that is not like the head of a human being. But we still say head of lettuce. You understand? And many other things we can get into concerning the clear cut understanding that Allah Ta'ala fi thatihi wa fi sifatihi wa fi af'alihi wa fi asma'ihi Allah Ta'ala is nothing like his creation whatsoever. Tayyib? What, what ayat is that? Surah. Surah Shura. Ayat what? Can't remember. 16 or something like that. I don't remember. You have to look it up. Forty-two, sixteen, something like that. Alhamdulillah. In any case, anybody have any questions before we conclude tonight? Muhammad wa ala alihi wa